Hey everyone, so it's time to get into part two of my water marble explanation. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. The first thing you want to do is protect the skin around the nails. You can do this one of three ways. You can use tape. Um, I've also heard people say that you can use lotion, just putting that around the skin of the nails. And also you can use petroleum jelly. Now I have tried all three ways. And for me, I prefer using tape. So all I do, this isn't any kind of special tape or anything. I think I got this from the dollar store. So just need two pieces of tape. And I'm going to bring y'all in closer so you can actually see what I do to put the tape around my finger. So I start off with just one piece of tape. And I'll start off right there at the bottom of the cuticle, getting it right there, and just placing the tape around my fingers like that. So that's the first piece. Then I'll take the second piece of tape, place it right on top. And folding it over on this side and putting it as close to the nails I can without actually it touching the nail and then going over to the other side I'm doing the same thing but kind of just pinching the tape together so to stay. So I have my finger all taped up and ready. Okay, now that I have my finger all taped up, for me I only just do one finger. I, I feel like because this is something that takes a lot of work, I choose just to do one fingernail. So after I have that, you want to make sure you have your container with your water in it. Um, I usually check the temperature of the water. If I feel like it's too cold or if it's too hot, then I change it. Um, if it's too hot, just change the water completely. But if it's too cold, just zap it in the microwave for about 10 seconds and I can usually get it warmed up a little bit. Shake up my polishes and just set those right next to it. Make sure you have everything you need. So I have my napkin here, I have my toothpick here or orange stick, whatever you prefer to use. And you also want to make sure that you are doing this in an area where you don't have a lot of wind or air moving um, around you. Like if don't do it in front of a fan, don't do it in front of an open window because that extra air, extra wind is going to dry up the polishes a lot faster. So if you are doing this in front of a fan or an open window and you see that your polishes aren't coming out right, then shut the window and turn the fan off to see if that helps. So also with the preparation of the nail, make sure you have your base coat on. For me, I used... The base coat I used was, I used the Nail Strengthener, this is from OPI. I always use this before I put on a base coat. And, and I also use the Sesh Clear base coat. Okay, now that everything is ready, I have everything I need. I have my finger taped up. I have the caps removed off the nail polish. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Take your first color, make sure you get enough polish on the brush, let it drip in and spread out, drip in and spread out. Right amount of polish in there. You want to start taking the toothpick. You want to drag it gently. And then what you want to do is you want to wipe it off on the napkin. So you drag and wipe until you get the design that you are wanting. Okay, 
So once you're done with the design, you're going to take your finger and dip it in in the area where you want in the area that you want. So I'm going to dip it in. Then you're going to pick up the rest of the polish to get the polish to dry faster. Blow on it for a little bit and then to come up. Okay, now that I have all the polish up, go ahead and take your finger out. And there is the design. Hey, I know I was asked once in my older video, how do I take the tape off of my finger? So this is what I do. I take some tweezers, just like this, and I start off in the back. I start off with the second piece of tape that I, I put on. And it's pretty, it's pretty easy to see where the tape opens at. And all I do is just gently take it off with the tweezers. Doing this part first is a lot easier because it's in the back of the nail. So it doesn't affect the design at all. So it still looks like that. And then try to remember where you stopped at with the first piece of tape. Find that. So my piece of tape ended right here. And I'll just gently take it off. Just like that. As you can see, it still needs some cleaning up. So I'm going to do that. And I'll show you how I clean up the edge of the nails. So what I use is 100% acetone to remove the excess polish on the nails. So I put some of the acetone in the cap and I'll just take a Q-tip and then just clean up around the nails. Now the reason I use the 100% acetone because it's a lot faster with the cleanup. You don't have to rub it to get the polish off. Kind of slowly swipe it up against it. Okay, as you can see, I cleaned it up pretty good. And sometimes you'll have polish, well, if, depending on how the length of your nail, you'll sometimes get polish right in the nail. So you just kind of do like that, and it gets it off. Here, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna paint the rest of my nails and finish up with the nail design okay so here is the finished nail design the two colors I use are both from China Glaze the first one is for Audrey and then the second one is Traffic Jam so those are the two colors I used then for a top coat I use Sesh Feet and I also always put a couple of the Nicole drying drops on my nails because I love these things so that is the whole nail, or well, my whole hand, I put for Audrey on the other fingers and just had that finger with the water marble design. And I really hope with these two videos I answered any and all questions that y'all may have had. I hope that with y'all doing the water marble nails that is successful for you because I know I have a lot of people saying that um, when they do it that it doesn't work so hopefully these two videos will help and give it a try again if you feel like you've lost all hope with this kind of thing give it a try again and tell me how it went and I'm looking forward to seeing if it works for y'all this time but um, thank you for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.